So allergy symptoms um, can affect the nose, can affect the sinuses and the lungs. So they can present with itchy, watery eyes, itchy, runny nose, sneezing, nasal congestion, post-nasal drip, coughing, wheezing, or shortness of breath. Um, and some of these symptoms are similar or overlap with COVID. COVID, of course, we see a lot of coughing, shortness of breath, some wheezing. Um, fatigue is also common in both allergy um, and COVID, as is headache. However, with COVID, you a lot of times will have fever, loss of sense of smell or taste, um, muscle aches, what we call myalgias, um, and nausea or vomiting or diarrhea, which are not seen with allergies. Um, with, with allergies, what's happened is, is the immune system decides to see harmless substances such as pet dander or pollen or dust as um, foreign. And so it starts to manifest an immune response to these allergens. With regards to allergy symptoms and COVID, fatigue, headache, nasal congestion, um, sore throat are all overlapping symptoms, but itchy eyes, watery eyes, um, runny nose, we don't, COVID is not really presenting with that. That's more allergies. And then um, again, loss of sense of taste or smell, the muscle aches, fever, GI symptoms would lend more towards COVID if we're trying to differentiate COVID versus um, allergies. Typically with a cold, you know, symptoms are sort of uh, come on um, fairly quickly. You may have a fever, you may have some muscle aches, you may have, you can certainly have the headaches and um, just generalized malaise. You may have some nausea or vomiting, depending on what your symptoms are um, or how bad your, your symptoms are. Um, but the symptoms are going to start to improve and subside within about a week or so. Whereas with allergies, they're going to linger. And particularly if you know with if, if from a seasonal standpoint that you've had these symptoms in the past. Um, you know, if you know that every spring you sort of have allergy symptoms, then that your history kind of helps along with that. Um, you know, if you try an over-the-counter antihistamine and that helps to mitigate some of the symptoms that would probably go along more with it being allergies.